hello everybody today's friday the 19th it's supposed to be good friday i guess it's all in how you look at it but we have had a, or having a flood here i come down here a while ago and seen what kind of mess i had but it ain't nothing that a little time won't take care of We got a little lake where the mulch pile used to be. I don't know if you can tell too much about it or not, but anyway, it was there's several gallons of water in there. You see all of it's going through and under this. It's going through and under the debarker. You can't tell how fast it's running out of point. And it's almost up to the motor on the debarker. And if nothing don't stop up, I think it'll be okay. But if something stops up, I don't know. The motor may be washed out too. And it's puffing a little bit. But it is a mess. All that water is coming from up through there. But I'm more I'm not gonna use that debarker anymore. Michael scares me to death. He has to stand right there in front of them things. You can see how deep the water is. And, uh, controls. And that head moves. And you put a log up here. And it pushes it right through there. And it just eats the bark off of it. And if there's a strip laying there or something, he'll pick it up and stick it in there and it'll pull it in there. And I'm scared to death that he'll fall in that. I'm going to learn how to use that cut torch. As soon as the price of scrap goes up just a little bit, and I know what I'm going to do with that, because I won't be worried death for it. Got in some logs yesterday, and I was supposed to come down here and move them, and it has poured the rain all day. But it ain't a big deal. I'm coming down here tomorrow. They talk like we might get a little snow tomorrow, but it's always cold and bad on Easter so I don't pay much attention to it but that's some good looking logs I'm glad to get them in we've got another order we gotta get out but I went up and told him a while ago I, he says it running under the sawmill and I said just a little bit <coughs> so you see it's all I hope it'll be alright we just took a load of sawdust yesterday, I guess it was. Because I told him, I said, if we don't get it tomorrow, today, you know, yesterday, I said, we won't be able to get it because I said it's supposed to rain. And I was right. Ours pack of that lumber we got to take next week. Pretty much. So. And there's some, some, some poplar that a man's supposed to pick up. He brought it, his logs in, that's custom stuff. I cut out some pretty stuff. But, there's water everywhere. I still not got to see if my little screech owl's in there. I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to mess with it. I'm afraid if it's in there, it might leave, and I'm not gonna bother it. And I hope that water can't get into it. I don't think it can. At least I hope not. We sold some chips the other day. We gotta sell a bunch more of them. All. We got a pile of chips. But they're not as many there as you'd think. Whenever I start whenever they start hauling out, it they won't last long. He got on that dozer yesterday. Tried to straighten that up a little bit. The more you stir it, the worse it is. If it's wet, so he done a good job for what how he, you know. What or what he could do. See my sawdust pile. About washed it away. But it's running good. I left it down here in the ditch and get the water running all over the place. But 
I think it's supposed to rain the rest of the day. I think it's about two o'clock. See that water? There's a little creek going down through there. Chad went out a while ago and down on Shepherd Branch down there. It is a mess. Cause all this congregates down there. I'm running Michael's camera. <clears throat> I'm giving him a good excuse to give me nothing. He's been wanting an excuse. So I can't get away. I'm not too good at carrying an umbrella. Matter of fact, I hate umbrellas. But I was afraid to get it, his camera too wet and destroying it. There's some more logs we gotta get sawed up. I'm afraid to get in too many logs, I don't know. So yeah, it's running down through there. Well, we've got a little pond over here, if I can get over to show you. It catches all that stuff, it's supposed to. So it ain't doing too good job <laughs> catching it today, I'd say it's mostly running out. I like to hear that water in there. I hear little frogs. I hope they don't all get washed away. See, that's a little pond holding thing. But it's running good. I like to hear the little frogs. They're so cute. I like to see them whenever the sun's out. You know, just be stretched out on top of that water. They're so cute. I had some tappings last year. I guess it was last year. And there was a little pond of water out here in front of them chips. Well, when I'd come through there, they'd go across them chips. They'd climb them on top of them chips and go across. And every day they was there. And I'd move them. I was afraid I'd run over them. But usually whenever they hear that loader, they'd, they'd take off. And that's funny, if I go in a, fixing to go in a mud hole, if they see frogs in it, they'll pop out. I don't know what Michael's been telling them, but anyway, <laughs> I guess they decided they were going to hire ground. But, I guess I better go and get that hole and get this. Most of that run down through there. I'm thinking if I ditch it. So. Well, I thought I'd just show everybody what kind of mess we got, but it'll dry up. So. I've got to go. I hope everybody has a happy Easter and a good day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.